Hello, today we'll be presenting our research on accelerated temperature prediction in an IoT-enabled scaled home. My name is Estefania Sanchez. I am a senior at UCF studying computer science. My name is Caitlin Petro. I'm also studying computer science and I go to the University of Charlotte. Our scaled home project includes a reusable and small scale experimental test bed that replicates a full scale suburban smart home, including the implementation of sensors and actuators. Our test bed is contained in an isolated environment, meaning we're able to model diverse climatic conditions in our lab. We can simulate a summer in Orlando or a winter in Norway in one room. This is a great alternative to costly real size smart home test bed development. Additionally, we can collect large amounts of data that's needed to build our predictive model at a pace 10 times faster than real time. We are using predictive modeling to assist in the development of an automatic and energy conscious home regulation system that can alter the temperature of a home based on its actuator states and external temperatures. To do this, we evaluated the performance of long short term memory or LSTM, K nearest neighbors, KNN, and random forest regression in predicting internal and external temperatures in our scaled home environment. This is an internal and external view of our smart home. We use Raspberry Pis as our computer of choice. These highly efficient computers can also include a Pi Hat expansion board that connects to the Pi set of 40 GPIO pins. Our first Raspberry Pi computer powered and collected all sensor data in the smart home. Our second Raspberry Pi equipped with a Pi Hat controlled the actuator set consisting of windows, doors, and internal appliances and also acted as an additional power supply. As previously mentioned, the scaled home is in an isolated environment. We used a greenhouse in order to be able to deliberately and methodically control temperature conditions. In order to evaluate our project application in diverse environments, we chose five different U.S. cities that are located in various climate regions. All simulated temperatures are normalized in order to remain within an achievable and controllable range for our environment, which is between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Later, these values can be scaled back to represent the real world values using the formula seen on the screen below. This is a climate map showing the five cities we chose and their respective climate regions. These cities include Las Vegas, Nevada, Denver, Colorado, Detroit, Michigan, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Jacksonville, Florida. Their climate regions are hot, dry, cold, mixed humid, and hot humid. To run our experiments in our test bed, we developed three kinds of simulations that model the movements of one, two, and three people inside the home. Each of our five chosen cities had its own version of these simulations, giving us a total of 20 simulations. These model a 15 hour day in roughly an hour and a half, so we were able to collect data 10 times faster than in real time. We set aside 15 simulations for training and five for testing, giving us a 75-25 split in our data. Our goal was to compare the performance of different algorithms in predicting the future temperatures of the home. This is the first step towards creating an intelligent agent that is able to control the temperature and humidity of a home automatically before it reaches undesirable levels. We chose to compare one deep learning algorithm, long short term memory or LSTM, and two traditional machine learning algorithms, k nearest neighbors or KNN, and random forest regression. In addition to comparing the algorithms, we wanted to see if including an adjusted time variable as an input would alter algorithm performance. We theorized that it would improve the performance since real-world daily temperature patterns are fairly consistent following a 24-hour period. To test our hypothesis, we trained each algorithm twice, once with time as an input and once without, giving us a total of six models to compare. What we found in our experimentation was that all three of our algorithms performed well at predicting temperature and humidity when given either data set. We only saw slight improvements in LSTM and KNN when excluding time as an input, and random forest remained unchanged. Overall, LSTM provided us with the most accurate predictions, which we can see represented in the graphs to the right. These graphs show the temperature and humidity predictions for all three algorithms when trained without time as an input. The x-axis is the actual temperature and humidity values we collected from our test bed, and the y-axis is the predicted values the algorithms generated. Each of the colors on the graph represents a different sensor inside of the scaled home, and the red line represents a perfectly accurate prediction. As you can see, for all three algorithms, the predictions follow the path of the correct prediction line with varying degrees of separation. However, LSCM has the points clustered much more closely around that red line than the other two algorithms. 
Here we have a further analysis on the predictions these algorithms generated. We used three commonly used metrics to evaluate the performance of our algorithms. Root mean squared error, or RMSE, which represents the standard deviation of the prediction errors. Mean absolute error, or MAE, which represents the magnitude of the prediction errors. For these metrics, a lower value is indicative of a better performing algorithm. The final metric we used is R squared, which tells us how closely fitted our predictions are to the regression line that we saw on the graphs previously in red. For this value, the closer it is to one, the more accurate the predictions. We have highlighted the best scores for these metrics from the six models, and we can see that they all come from the LSTM model trained without time as an input, showing that this was our best performing model. If we take a closer look at the chart, we can see that LSTM with time as an input had the second best scores of these metrics. From this, we concluded that LSTM in general generated the most accurate predictions for temperature and humidity from the house. In conclusion, we were able to use our small-scale IoT testbed environment to simulate various daily activities around the home in various climatic conditions. Our collected data was able to successfully train machine learning algorithms to predict internal temperatures a full-scale hour in advance, with home actuator states and external temperature as variable inputs. Our experiments also show that the number of data features available can alter the accuracy of machine learning algorithms. These features need to be carefully adapted to maximize accuracy. For future work, we're looking forward to developing a remote access system for our testbed so that it may be used by researchers around the world. We're also looking forward to developing an intelligent agent that's able to determine which actions are appropriate in order to regulate internal temperatures. Later, we will connect this intelligent agent to our home actuator so that home states can be changed in order to keep our conditions at favorable levels. As a final note, we would like to thank the National Science Foundation for providing funding for this research, as well as our graduate mentors, Safa Bakanli and Furkan Chimen, and our faculty mentors, Dr. Baloney and Dr. Target, for helping us with this. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation. Thank you.